semester three exam review worksheet we're going to start serene by question number one read find the face fact fa families fact family, uh, cor corresponding the numbers given below so we have eight five and 40. What's the first fact about these numbers? Eight, uh, eight times five. Eight times five. Equal forty. Yeah. So eight times five is what, Serene? Forty. Then? Uh, five times eight. Five, five times eight. We can say that five times eight is equal to forty. And, and uh, four, four what about division? Uh, so 40 divided by 8, equal five. 40 divided by 8 equal five. is equal to 5, and 40 four divided five by 5 equal is equal to 8. Now, Reem, question number 2. We need to find the divisors. 49 divided by 7 equals 7. Okay, Six, Reem. 64 divided by 8 equals 8. Okay, so because 8 times 8 is 64. 64. 50 divided. Now, uh, Jawad. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. 50 divided by what? 50 divided by 10 equals 5. Is equal to 5. 5 times 10 is? 5 times 10 is 50. Okay. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. Yes, 9 times 8 is 72. Let's move to question number 3. Hadi, you're going to uh, write the first one. 87 divided by 7. You're going to divide showing your work. 7, 7 times 87 Seven times eight. Seven times eight equal. Yes, Hadi. Seven times what? Seven. So, eighty-seven divided by seven. Seven Sorry. times what gives eight? Not nothing. Seven times what gives seven one? Yes. We put minus seven here. 7 minus 8. 8 minus 7. 8 minus 7, 1. We bring down the 7. Yes. We have 17 now. What's the number that we... we uh, Multiply one, by 7. 7 gives 17. Nothing. Nothing. 2 times... We go two times, two to times, the closest number to 17. 2 times 7. 2 times 7 14. is 14. 7 minus 4 3 1 3 1 minus 1 1 0 0 So the remainder is 3 3 Let's che check our answer Kareem So now we check our answer The quotient times the divisor plus the remainder 12 times Explain, Karim. 12 times 7, 7 times 2, 14. 7 times 1. 7 times 1, 7, 8. Yes. So the answer is right. And the remainder, no. You still have a remainder. Oh. We add, yes. You added what? Three, seven. Hadi, eighty-seven divided by seven. What? What the number we multiply, multiply by seven give eight? Nothing. Uh, seven times seven times what give eight? Nothing. Seven times what give seven one? We make minus seven. Eight minus seven is one. One. We bring down the seven. Yeah. 
what's the number what's the number that we you multiply by seven give, give 17. nothing okay. the closer number of, of 17 is 14 right so seven yes. times what gives 14 14 yes three, three. zero zero okay so the remainder is three and the quotient is what hadi yes hadi the quotient is what? 12. Twelve. Karim, now you're going to check. We multiply the quotient times the divisor plus the remainder. The answer should be the dividend. Okay, so 12 times 7 first. 12 times 7. 7 times 2. Yes. 14. Seven, seven times, times one. one, seven plus eight. Plus one is eight. Then we add the remainder. What's the remainder? Three. Tell you? Yes. Four plus three. Four and seven. And eight. Eight. So. One hundred sixty-five divided by five times what gives us one? Nothing. Zero. Five times what gives us sixteen? Nothing. nothing. Times Close fifteen. To, yes. Close three. Close to sixteen is fifteen. We we subtract them. Six minus five is one. One minus one zero. We bring down five. Five goes down. Five times what gives us fifteen again? Thir three. 15. 15 minus 15, 0. Okay. Now we will check the question is 33. The remainder is what? Check. We multiply 33, 33 by, by 5. Five times a three is fifteen. Five times a three again is fifteen. 15 plus plus one, one is sixteen. 16. And the remainder is zero. So one hundred sixty-five is equal, equal to the dividend. Okay. Now question number four by Jad. We want to find mentally the quotient. So how to do this? Thirty-six yeah. divided. Uh, Thirty-six divided by six is what? Yeah, so six. 6 times what gives 36? It's 6. And we cross out equal number of zeros. 1 and 2. 1, 0. We add it to the answer. Okay, now um, Rawahat, 700 divided by 70. Divided by seven uh, is mm. seven times what gives seven? One. One. Uh, we cross the zero here and here. One zero is left, so we put it in that. Forty-five, forty-five thousand divided by ninety. Forty-five thousand divided by ninety. Uh, nine times uh, five give us forty-five. Yes. So we write five. We cross how many zero? One. <laughs> Yes. No, only one. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the remaining zeros are two. <coughs> Alex, 2400 divided by 60. As you can see here, um, 24 divided by 6 is 4. four. And because we have one zero here and one zero there, we cross them two out. Yes. So now we have only one zero in, which makes it four. Yes. Okay. Let's move to question number five. No. We want to add questions or subtract. So 3 over 5 minus 2 over 5, when we have fractions of same denominator, 
We keep the denominator and we subtract the numerator, right? Okay, no. Is three minus two is one. Yes. So the numerator is one and, and five. We keep the denominator which is Same. five. Four over six plus two over six. Four plus two is six. Yes. And we keep the denominator. We the get same. six over six equal one. Oh. Yes. So when we have same numerator and denominator, it's equal to one. one. Believe twenty-three over twenty-three minus thirteen over twenty-three. We keep. The denominator 23 minus 13 it's equal to what 23. Two. Yes, 10. ten. Okay. Thank you. Now for the one minus one over four. over 4. Why? Because 4, four over 4. Yeah, so the 1 is like 4 over 4, four minus, minus 1 over one. Yeah, so now it's, it's equal to 3 over four. 4. Excellent. Okay, and Syrian. 1 minus 2 over 8. So 1, it's 8 over 8, right? Mm -hmm. Minus. Oh, no, minus. Minus, right? Here? Minus, yes. Minus. Mm. 2 over. Four. Six. Two over eight. Oh, okay. So eight minus two is what? Eight minus two. Six. Six. Over. Over eight. Mm. Okay. Now Rim. Five over five plus one. Five over five, it's one one, right? Plus one. Plus one, it's equal to ten over. Ten over five. five. But a one whole plus one, it's equal to what, Yari? So here, five over five, it's equal to one, right? Because we have same numerator and. Denominator mm. plus one it's equal to two. two. So ten over five actually is equal to two. two. Five over seven plus one over seven had the jawad. Five plus one is six and we keep yes. Now Hadi. One minus three over seven. Four over seven. Can you explain? So instead of one, we have seven over seven minus three is equal four over seven. So seven over seven minus three over seven. Seven minus three is four. I do here. Now question number six. Shade the correct fraction of each shade. One over two. So as you notice, when one over two, it means I should divide this shape into two equal parts. Okay? And then we take from these parts how many parts? One. One. So we color one. Okay.
café. No, Karim, uh, one over four. Color one over four. One point. One. So it's divided into four parts, four equal parts. So as you notice, Miss, they should be equal. Okay, Karim. Thank you. Five over eight, Rena. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need. We need to cut it five. Five and then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, Jad, shade for over six. And we need to color one, one part. Thank you, Rawal. Uh, Noor, three over four. Yes, Alex, four over five. Four over five. We need to shade four pieces of five. Okay. Philippe, five over six. Question number seven. Order the following numbers from greatest to least. Well, because it's the same de denominator, so we look at the greatest numerator. Four over five is the greatest. Yes. Then three over five. Then two over five. Yes. Fadal. Do the second one. Nine over two, three over four, five over two. Nine. So we have same denominator. We check the numerators. Nine. Nine comes over. first. Nine over two. And three. Three is greater than five. No, uh, over two. And three over three. Three over ten, nine over ten, and six over ten. Which fractions? Which fraction comes first? Um, so we look at the numerator series. Nine. Yes. The greatest numerator is nine. Then uh, six over ten. Yes. Then three over ten. Three. And then thirteen over six. Eleven. Mm. Eleven. Uh, 
So if you notice, these fractions are improper fractions because the numerator is greater than the denominator, right? Yes. Question 9. Problem 1. A chef prepared eight plates of shrimp. One, two, three, four. On each, there were two shrimp on each plate. How many shrimp did the chef prepare? So, two times eight. Why? Because, uh, no, eight, two times eight because there were, there were eight plates and two shrimps. On? So, on each plate. Okay, so. So, we, we multiply eight times two. Instead of? Instead of what? Instead of uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus yeah. 2 plus 2. So 8 times 2 is? Times 2. Is equal to? Equals 16. Yeah. So the complete answer is the chef prepared 16 shrimps okay thank you problem number two Ariam. problem number two Whitney bought 66 rose bushes and planted them in six rows how many rose bushes are in each row? Okay. So we have six rows. Okay. There are 66 rose bushes. So we make 66. Yes, put on each row. The answer is 11. So, so in each row, how many rose bushes? In each row, there, in each row there are 11 rose bushes. In each row, oh, yes, there are. So any questions, Miss? Any questions?